monday.com tips and tricks hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at some of the tips and tricks that can help you use monday.com as your primary business or team management platform so let's get into it now monday.com is a amazing platform that enables you to connect with your team accomplish goals accomplish work and as well as manage your own business if you want to do that it is so multifunctional and diverse and it has so many different features available so when you are using all those features sometimes you might not be optimizing for the best workflow possible and for that i have a couple of tips and tricks for you guys now to get started with monday.com you simply have to register using your email once you have registered using your email this will be your dashboard so this is your original workspace which is also your home workspace now you cannot delete this workspace this is the main part and what i usually recommend is to leave this as it is leave this as your personal area so enter your own name or just be like uh, enter your owner's name or anything of that sort and leave this as a place where you manage only your own work you don't manage anything else in this specific workspace the reason for that is if you want to later on end a business or end a project then you can simply delete the workspace so you no longer have to deal with notifications updates or anything like that but if it is in your main workspace then if you have like a more primary project that you later on that you start later on and the main workspace is already occupied by a project that you might think of ending then it will be a lot more difficult to set up so the first thing you're going to do is create a workspace now whenever you're creating a workspace the first thing that i recommend is to make sure that you have a clear goal in mind for what this workspace is now let's say i have started a new business it's an e-commerce business it's an online e-commerce business and i have a few different com components in my in my business so i have a finance side i have a marketing team and i have someone like um i have a couple of managers or storefront workers as well so i have a storefront now, what I would recommend is that instead of creating workspaces individually for each one of these components within a singular business, that you create a workspace for the entire business. So let's say that the business is called Chili Chow. So once I have entered the workspace name over here, you can choose the privacy so every if every team member in the account can join or if it's closed, I want to make this open. And then I will create this workspace. Now, within your workspace, what you're supposed to do actually to separate different sections of your team. So maybe the finance people really don't need to interact with the marketing people and the marketing people don't need any interaction with the IT team. So for that, what you can simply do is create different board so you're going to click on new board and then you're going to name the board and in this way you can name the board and simply manage the uh, things related to that board and within the board you can add multiple different groups you can add multiple different sub boards as well and this will enable you into categorizing your work in a far more effective manner now when you have created a workspace workspace like this you can rename the workspace later on you can change the color you can change the theme and all of the basic customizations that you do but you also can click on browse all workspaces and look for a specific item within a workspace, which is super helpful when you're trying to find data and you're trying to look for a certain item that you might have misplaced somewhere else. Another thing is that when you click on manage workspace over here, you will be able to uh, take a look at all of the boards. Then you also have members. So you can invite people directly using this simple member section. So you can simply invite everyone at a certain team to join everyone that is uh, you know present within a specific uh, specific team can join and then you also have permissions this is a feature uh, uh, available only on the enterprise plan but then you can set a specific permission for certain people uh, although even on the free version you can set specific permissions within a board so whenever you take a look at a board you have board power-ups you also have these settings and you can click on board permissions over here and then adjust those board permissions in the pro version of monday.com and with your boards you also have board types that you can change you can change a board to private as well if it is something that the rest of the team no longer needs to know or the information is supposed to you know only be shared with a certain part of your team now another great section in monday.com is the my work section so you can click on my work over here and take a look at all of the tasks that are assigned to you 
Now, another great option that I find in monday.com is the automation. Now, a lot of people skip over the automation, they don't really realize it, but a great feature, let's say that I have in the finance section, uh, I want to have a list of uh, monthly pay estimated payouts. So I have estimated payouts and then I can enter, you know, all of the items and the data, the person, and then you can click on add column over here and you can add multiple different types of columns. So let's say I'm monitoring estimated payouts for, you know, certain uh, supply chain items. And let's say I want to also mark, you know, uh, priorities for that, or I want to connect boards or I want to create timelines for that. So you can enter these information bits as well in your simple display. And then you you can click on the workflow center on the top right of your screen and if you click on that this is actually the automation center a lot of people don't realize this but monday.com offers you a bunch of different automations and integrations so you can integrate multiple different applications you can click on apps and integrations and if you are using any of these um applications you can uh, create a automation for that as well now in terms of useful automations you have a lot of things like let's say uh, then when a status changes to something assign team as assigning you know all of those basic automation now you can simply click on create custom over here and let's say whenever a status is changed or whenever a certain date arrives so when this date arrives then i want to uh send an email and you can enter the email whatever email you want to send and then you will enter who the email should be sent to and uh, you can enter a specific team member you can enter yourself just like that and you're just going to enter the email the content of the email and you're going to choose the uh, account that you want to send the email via so just like that, I've input all of these fields and now you can simply click on create automations to create your automation. It is an amazing feature and a lot of the times people are using a premium version of monday.com yet they are not using automations, which can actually reduce the time that you have to spend managing your business or your project by a lot. So make sure you do check those out whenever you are building your business. Now with that, you also have board power-ups and different board views. So you have multiple different views that you can select from depending on the type of data that you are displaying so i can click on add view over here and let's say that i want a gantt chart so you can get a gantt chart now a lot of these features are available only on a premium version of monday.com so you do have to keep that in mind whenever you are trying to get access to those features however a lot of these features are also available for free and you can get a trial version of the premium version of monday.com now in terms of pricing you can see that monday.com is available for free then it starts at the basic version which is a dollars per member per month then it is the standard version with $10 per member per month. I do recommend the standard version because it has over 250 auto uh, automations integrations as well, as well as guest access. So if someone is working with your team, a outside person from another company, you can give them guest access to the workspace where they will have limited features and limited permissions to do th stuff, but they will still be able to work with your team and then you also get timeline views and gantt views and you can create a dashboard now a dashboard is basically a summary of multiple different boards and you can summarize over five boards all together in a singular board so for team managers it is going to be a especially helpful feature so i hope you guys found these tips and tricks helpful and you're now able to get started with monday.com make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.